Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video and in this video we are going to go through how much money I did make and which rewards I got in the month of September and also go through my changes in the gallery. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. And yeah, we can start uh, to go through some sales. And I have sold up uh, very much in limited recently and I'm trying to move slightly away from limited and move to rare. And here are some player, players I have sold. Uh, I have sold more players but this is like, uh, this doesn't show up here when it's uh, like trades and etc. Uh, but uh, when people have uh, bought it directly from the marketplace. We have sold Anthony after the rumors that he was back because we have it in because we have him in rare as well. So I don't need two Antonis and I think 20 euros is an okay price for him. I think it will go up a bit more though, uh, but I'm very happy with that price. Mm. Also sold Jan Oblak for a very very nice price, I believe. Um, yeah, he has recently been sold for 86 euros, but that's the new season card. I sold this old season card for 84 euros, very happy with that. We also sold the Mechelen goalkeeper, Geaten Kukc, for 24 euros. I uh, sold Munir, Timothy Castagne, Adam Ida, Bryce Mendes, Joachim Andersen, Dominic Solanke, uh, and Christian Alvarez and Joao Palinha. This is just some of the limited sales uh, I have done. Uh, and I've also bought in new players. We can go here and see. Uh, we bought in Rafael Veran, and I'm very happy with this trade. Uh, I got him for like, uh, if we go to the trade, like Pavel Trader. Like I had no idea he was going to, I had no expectations of him accepting this offer. I gave him away my Rafael Veran and I, got, and I gave him, no sorry, he gave me Rafael Veran and I gave him William Carvalho and Jorge Obregón and 30, 33 euros, uh, which all together is a little bit over 60 euros. And uh, the reason for me picking up this type of card, 22 to 23 season, is because he isn't minted this season and uh, because of the Lisandro Martinez injury I need a centre back for Manchester United. Because I'm moving away from limited to rare and uh, in the rare competitions I want to focus mainly on Manchester United and Leicester. Um, so yeah, mm, very happy with that. Uh, and yeah, you, uh, we can just go through fast um, the other players from Manchester United collection before we move on to how much I have made and the rewards in general. Um, uh, yeah, we won him, Rast Popovic, uh, Luke Shaw, Van Bissaka, Heaton, Rashford, Anthony, Lissandra Martinez. Hopefully Rashford comes back into form. Uh, I think, like, I'm so happy with the prices in general uh, of... Um, uh, uh, of uh, the in the Manchester United collection, like I think most of the prices are very fair. But Rashford, I will pay for Rashford. I need to put my hands up and uh, say that because that wasn't a good deal from my side. Um, but yeah, some of these players we will make loss on, and some we will hopefully win. But this collection is for the long term future. Um, so yeah, hopefully it will be worth it. Uh, in the future. Uh, yeah, moving on, Lisandro Martinez, he has picked up an injury. Hopefully, I think he will be out for two to three months, so not looking too good. So, and that's another reason for picking up Rafael Veran. Uh, and uh, yeah, very happy with that price. Uh, Andre Onana, uh, overpaid a bit on him as well, I believe. No, not too much, but a bit, like 30 euros more or something. But like, uh, yeah. Like, not the best, but this, as I mentioned earlier, long-term project. Uh, if I lose like 50 euros to 100 euros on some cards because they are a new season or uh, that I overpaid a bit, uh, yeah, in the long term that isn't, it, it doesn't matter too much in the long term, uh, hopefully. Uh, we have Viljan uh, and Donny van der Beek as well, just for XP. Uh, Villan here, yeah, 40, yeah, he's about the same price against Chelsea this Monday, so hopefully he does well. 
We have Diogo, Diogo Dalo as well. Uh, very, very good. Uh, not the best. Actually, pretty fair price as well. Mm. You can hit those uh, high scores. Uh, Mason Mount, very happy with the price of Mason Mount and also pretty happy with the price of Casemiro. Um, and I think that is the month summarized in terms of cards. Uh, yeah, some limited rewards. Yeah, that's it. Let's jump right into the rewards. Uh, and here we can also see how much collection bonus I have in my gallery at the moment. 2% of my United, hopefully we'll get it up to 4. And then we have to wait 90 days to get it up to 5. Uh, we have 4% on the Leicester collection, very happy with that. Waterford collection we have 2% and Mechelen. We are going to sell uh, many players from the Mechelen collection. 2% uh, on the Sevilla collection, we will soon get the 3%. Leicester. 3% in Limited, we will probably sell away there as well. Uh, Guangyu, 3% and also Fortaleza. But let's go through the game weeks and the rewards and how much we have made in general. So, um, that will probably show uh, the current, how much I made throughout the video will uh, probably uh, be under my face cam, so you know that. And I will also announce it uh, at the end of the video. <coughs> Sorry. And the first game week of September was game week 403. And we did actually pretty well uh, here. Um, in Cap 270 Limited, we got a tier 3. With Angus Gunn hitting uh, 41, Van I Captain Van der Berge hit a very nice score. Bryce Mendes, good score. Rob Schoof's good score. And also Demirovic doing very well against Bochum. <coughs> so sorry. Um, very happy general with this lineup. Um, and we got uh, tier 3, which was um, a very nice pool actually. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, also we have Champion Asia, where um, where my Gwangyu boys delivered an uh, okay reward. And I think that was it. I think we also actually got the reward in... Yeah, we hit the threshold actually. In Cap 240 Rare, and uh, it, it feels like it's so long time ago. Uh, you didn't have a captain choice here, and we got actually saved by Sokol Sikaleshi and David Marshall. 260 points, points, I mean, very nice indeed. And I think we also got the threshold in Cap 240 uh, Limited, yeah, we got the threshold in Cap 240 Limited with Koch, Balju, Eriksen, Geoffrey Hermans and Adam Idan. And the rewards we got from this game week was Patrick and Arnold, um, which you sold to Nico Bulas. I think I sold him for... Okay, I, I think I sold him. Yeah, I bought him... I sold him for 9 euros. Or... Yeah, 7.3 euros. Okay, so... I didn't sell him at the right time, I didn't know he was going to be so nailed. Uh, I got actually a tip on the channel that he was going to be rotated a bit, and he's actually been rotated a few times. Uh, but yeah, we got some money from him, and in general a very great reward. We also got uh, Kaneko, which I have in the club. Um, he is an okay scorer in general, but not the best there. Um, Moving on, we have um, game week 404, where we did, uh, didn't did win anything. Uh, we had a pretty good all-star lineup actually, 273 points and didn't win anything. Captain Eriksen against San Marino, 4-0. And just look at this, I benched, or I didn't bench, but I didn't play Joachim Andersen in any priority lineup, and he hit a 100-pointer. <laughs> If I would have like switched him out for Nemanja Gudeli, we could have hit a very very nice reward. Uh, but yeah, pretty happy uh, with that because it helped me in the long run in uh, the all-star long format competition. Uh, but nothing that week. Game week 405, we won a reward and that was in Cap 220 Limited. I think I've never been so close to winning a division before. 
if Kiefer Moore played, uh, and I've also uh, made a video about that, uh, complaining about uh, <coughs> Play Sharper, uh, and also blaming myself, of course, and uh, some foot move apps because it didn't uh, show that he was suspended. He was like 90% to start or something. Uh, but that's uh, a little bit on me and a little bit on sorry data and uh, especially play sharper. Um, kept to 17, very close. Like this week was like so close to be an extremely good week. Uh, we hit the threshold in cap 240 limited. Uh, very happy about that. 20 points away from reward. We didn't hit the threshold here because of a disaster class from Chris Mepam, Vautfas and Sukul Sikleshi with a very tough feature. Um, yeah, actually pretty close here as well, but like it's so it was so hard in All Star last month, um, and in general it's very hard in limited. Like you need everything to line up perfectly, I believe, to get a really good reward. Um, so like that's uh, I will talk more about this in future videos, um, and also as I mentioned earlier, like I feel like. I feel like the limited gets harder and harder and the price pool doesn't change. I'm not here to complain or anything, but like, I feel like this is the perfect opportunity to move away from that uh, and try to go up the scarcity and maybe in the future even move to super rare. But I don't feel my gallery in rare are too big enough to do that yet. But we will see. So yeah, we got the uh, cap to 40 limited threshold and also a reward in cap to 20 limited. I think uh, that was actually a pretty bad reward. Kim Yoo-chan, yeah, he's going for like 0 0.8 euros. He's uh, he's 18 years old and he plays actually, but he, he, he doesn't do too well by the looks of it. Mm. But yeah. Uh, that was that week. Uh, game week 406, we didn't win anything. Um, yeah, we were pretty close in cap to 20 limited. Um, yet again, I prioritized all star limited, and like this is probably like my worst mistake ever. Not my worst mistake ever, but like I lost so many thresholds because I focused too much on uh, on the all star divisions, and it like didn't pay off at all. Uh, but yeah, moving on, we have game week 407. We didn't win anything this week as well. We had like 3-4 game weeks with a very uh, bad run in terms of rewards. Um, but yeah, in uh, general, disappointing. Uh, second edition Europe, uh, Valdfast didn't play and Yenacho came on, uh, missing a big, big chance. This week wasn't meant to be uh, at all. Uh, but a week that was meant to be was game week 408. It was a midweek where we got a pretty decent reward in uh, Champion America Limited. Uh, we also hit the threshold in Cap 240 Rare with Ricardo Pereira not playing at all. Uh, Taras Stepanenko with a 31 pointer and uh, Daniel Bachmann last man tackle. Very lucky. Like. Watford has a terrible defense, so like I'm so tempted to sell Daniel Bachmann because he has been so lucky to get so good scores recently. Uh, or uh, like this week he did like a 15 pointer and ruined uh, my all-star lineup, but in general. Uh, Kian and Dusbury Hall doing very well, uh, Kalesh Iannaccio uh, doing well as well. <coughs> and I need to give a big shout out to du Dusbury Hall. Like, look at, I, I'm saying it, I, it, it feels like I say it every single video, but he's way too good in, like he's way too good for the league and I hope he doesn't go away in the winter. 100, 69, 53, 56, 58, 73, 77, 59, 78. Like, I, like, <laughs> he's way too undervalued in my opinion. Like he isn't, yeah, he's pretty, yes, he is pretty expensive now. But yeah, I like he's just so good, and I feel a bit bad for Harry Winks owner because um, if we go to Harry Winks, uh, yeah, like his SO5 scores, like it, 
he's just very consistent with hitting some AA, but like in general, he Harry Wings is playing so defensive compared to Duisburg Hall. Duisburg Hall is like getting so many tr shots each game and uh, such a fun player to watch. Uh, and yeah, like you can see in his game that he has much improvements. And that's so nice to see, like he isn't perfect, he does f a few mistakes, but like he is doing so extremely well, but he has more potential, uh, which is very nice, but we won't talk about more about Duisburg Hall, <laughs> because I talked so much about him. Uh, yeah, we got the threshold in Cap to 40, as I, men as I mentioned, and also the threshold in Limited, the Sevilla boys finally uh, getting a threshold, uh, and... Uh, yeah, Dimitrovic currently not playing for Sevilla anymore. Nyland has taken his place. Uh, I'm from Norway. Nyland is uh, the keeper, and you need to be, uh, or let us just put it that way, you can be very good if you lose your place to Nyland. Like <laughs> he wasn't like a starter in a Norwegian club or something. Uh, he was bought in just for being the backup goalkeeper. Like Sevilla posted on Twitter that as, uh, we have signed a new backup goalkeeper specifically. And yeah, Dimitrovic has done terrible uh, at the start of this season. And um, hopefully he can get back to his best form. But um, yeah. It doesn't look good when you lose your place to Nyland uh, for the future. Uh, or, yeah, I don't know what the manager thinks, but I don't think this is just rotation rotation purposes. But yeah, uh, uh, we got in... Uh, I, I'm not so happy about uh, that tier 3. Uh, sorry, uh, the power of my camera went out. Uh, but uh, what I was about to say is that Renato Ibarra was the player I got from a tier 3 reward, which is very disappointing, like he's worth 0 0.8 euros, but he is actually a talent from Ecuador, some of you commented it in the comment section, uh, so I'm not too unhappy, hopefully he can get good in the future, and if you can keep up those high scores he got like one game week, and uh, some of these scores, he can be a very good one to have indeed, uh, so yeah. Uh, okay, happy with that. Uh, moving on, we have uh, game week 409, where we did... Yeah, we did actually win something here. This was uh, my best uh, game week of this month, where we did actually win... Uh, we did do very, very well in Premier League Special Weekly Scarcity, with Andre Onana, Issa Diop, Diogo Dalo, Casemiro and Villan. 11th place in Premier League Special Weekly Scarcity, which top 30 wins a signed jersey. Unfortunately, this weekend my lineup has done very bad, but we still have two players left, Issa Diop and Villan against Chelsea. They are going to play today when I record this video video, uh, so I just pray for them doing well, um, but the Cap 240 lineup, uh, lineup uh, was the lineup that did the best. Uh, in general, David Marshall keeping yet another clean sheet, Ricardo Pereira doing well, Vaud Fast doing well, both uh, both getting clean sheets, and also Duisburg du Hall uh, being consistent as ever, uh, Dan James with an incredible score, and we got a very good tier 3 reward. Uh, and also some Ethereum on top of that. Very close in Second Division Europe. Uh, unfortunate that De Daniel Bachmann conceded like in the last minute of the game. Uh, he did very well, 27 points in all around score. Uh, <coughs> yeah, not sure. Uh, coming off missing a big chance, I think. No, he didn't do anything. Sorry. And also Bundesliga amateur, uh, pretty uh, happy with that. Two points away from a uh, tier five. Uh, and also a bit disappointed because uh, I have no idea how 450, 455 points didn't hit me reward that week. Very high scoring game week uh, though. Uh, but yeah, uh, I got Subi Mendy, which we have sold for 75 euros plus William Carvalho, which is a, uh, he's worth like a little under under 30 euros I think. Uh, let's check. Okay, so he did very well against. He didn't actually do too well. He got the assist and he uh, had very bad AA. Um, so yeah, I'm not too unhappy about giving, uh, getting him and then giving him away again. 
Uh, but Subi Mendy, uh, looking back at it, I'm pretty happy about it. I sold him for 105 euros altogether, uh, which I'm very happy about. Uh, <coughs> it helps uh, very much uh, building my gallery uh, further in both, uh, uh, not uh, in just rare, but I'm also going to be a bit smarter in uh, limited. I'm trying to move away from limited, but I want to have some lineups each week that can that I can try to win some in, uh, especially focus on Capture Forte uh, Limited, just like I love just ETH farming, um, uh, yeah, farming the threshold. Uh, so yeah, very happy about that week. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. I didn't, I don't think we won anything in the midweek. Um, let's see. We actually hit the threshold, yeah, the Fortaleza boys. Uh, Saved the midweek, uh, saved its own threshold, but we love the thresholds. So, uh, very nice to see Fortaleza, uh, the Fortaleza boys giving back yet again. Uh, so, yeah, uh, this is my month summarized on Sorer. Uh, I think the next monthly summer, uh, when I'm going to summarize next month, it's going to be very big because, um, yeah, in general, uh, so many plans for the gallery and uh, the, yeah, the current game week has gone pretty okay, we can say, uh, but no spoilers for the rewards video that is probably coming out tomorrow, I think. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, and I will of course see you in the next one. Bye bye, and take care. Peace.